We begin with a story we've been following some breaking news out of Georgia. A grand jury has returned indictments involving Donald Trump's efforts to overturn his 2020 election loss in Georgia. The identities of the person or people charged has not been released yet. The judge reviewed the grand jury's findings in the case just about an hour or so ago and returned the paperwork to the court clerk who is in the process right now of publishing the indictments, which will reveal the names of those charged and what they're accused of doing. Several schemes have been outlined, ranging from then President Trump's infamous call to the Georgia Secretary of State saying, I need 11,000 votes. Then there was the plan to send a false slate of electors to Washington to cast Georgia's electoral votes for Trump instead of Joe Biden, who won that state. And prosecutors have also indicated that they have evidence showing Trump's legal team was behind a voting system breach. This would be the fourth case against Trump. He has always denied all wrongdoing. Earlier this month, special counsel Jack Smith indicted him on four federal charges, including conspiracy. Mr. Trump again pled not guilty in the other three cases related to the 2020 election, hush money payments and retaining classified documents. Tonight's grand jury findings should become public soon. We will, of course, bring you those details as soon as we get them.